actually 15 feet wide and 30 feet long, the entire newsroom. Uh, it was a hallway. We were actually producing our newscast in a hallway at that time. Tiny little place, tiny little people stepping over each other. We'd sometimes have three people working at a desk at the same time. So it was it was a small, tiny little place. All of these people could never fit inside our newsroom at that time. And that was about the time that the owners decided that they wanted to go computer, get into the computer age. That was just 30 years ago. So they bought a computer system from an accounting firm here in Tucson, who was throwing it in the trash because it didn't work. <laughs> but Channel 13 felt that they needed to get a computer aid, so they bought a computer system as a black screen with green letters and numbers on it. That was it. Uh, and it would, you could type a script and print it out and nothing else. Or you could do your retirement planning too if you really wanted to. But it was just a tiny little system that didn't work very well. We got new owners, decided to move up here, built this building converted this building, didn't build it. For those of us who moved up here understood that in 1983, this building was underwater. Not just had water in it, it was up over the top of the roof in 1983. So when we moved up here and converted it to a studio, there was still some concern. So every time it rained, we'd go outside and look up, well, what do you think? Is it possible? Well, obviously it hasn't happened since. Uh, which is a great thing, and they've done a lot of flood mitigation, so it'll never happen again. But it was real a concern when we first moved up here. So things have changed, things have changed pretty dramatically, obviously, uh, since we started here 30 years ago. But the one thing is that has really changed in those 30 years is the fact that the last four years have been very, five years have been very trying, obviously with uh, the pandemic, um, and then family illness.